Welcome back. We are going to take these guys out. Alright, so he's all bowing up there. Wonder when he stopped bowing last time. I guess very likely when we entered the room. So if we can just fight him in this doorway without that hag noticing? I guess priestess? I don't know. I don't even know if uh why I'm why I'm assuming that that is a female entity over there. Doesn't seem like that's going to break his guard anytime soon. So this way, like, god, his armor is actually incredibly strong. But this way we don't have to be uh, defending with the heals. As well as, like, you know, a, a kind of race condition of a battle of attrition. Um, we can just fight him one-on-one, -on -one, take our time. Killing the hag is then going to be, like, incredibly stupid. Jeez, that took out almost my entire stamina bar. The shield kick might be my new favorite move, like, in the game. Just, just outrageously powerful. Speaking of cool moves, though, we don't do nearly enough of this. That is awesome. We should do more of that. Soul of a crestfallen king. Why can't we just pick that sword up? Sword's incredibly cool. It's got a similar profile to my sword. My sword's cooler, of course. Oh, dang. Okay, cool. So there's definitely more to Lothric Castle, I feel like. That's what that tells us. I don't even know. Oh, I, I did pull. I did pull Hagro though. The Hag Agro has been pulled. He might actually just be, just be patrolling. I see him patrolling. I am hating. Oh. Okay, can I, like, will you just, like, come out of here? So that would be fantastic. That would make my life much easier. Is that another one? Jeez. Really, though. He did not get staggered. Okay, the Lance dudes just actually have all of the stamina. Fighting two of these mofos at once is like real hard. That doesn't seem doable in fact. Oh, oh. Come on now. Substantially, 
substantially powerful enemies. Like, picking them apart seems still relatively viable. Um, it'd be slow, though. Just incredibly slow. I'm trying to think of what other options I have, though. Like, they have healers that also buff their defense, which, great, good, fantastic. I'm so glad that you live forever. Okay, so fighting this guy went, like, pretty flawlessly, actually. Nope, nope, we aggroed the hag. I think once you aggro the hag, you just go investigate the other path. Just, just, nope. I won't go that way, then. We'll go explore this way. Oh, this makes, this makes these guys much easier. Coming from this way. I wonder if that's not maybe how I, like, what ends up happening in the other place. Is that, like, if you come from behind, you can just kill the hags easily. And then everything else just flows. Yes, please hit my shield. Traditionally speaking, you'd hit my shield. Okay, fine. I'll kill you. Not the hard way. We can do it that way. Wait, fig. Let's head this way, and let's actually try and drop off at the at the halfway point. Got a pound, 1.1 pounds to spare. And you never know. You never know when you're going to get backstabbed, really. I mean, I'm certainly hoping to do more backstabbing than I am getting backstabbed, but you just, you just never know. Seems like it very much so could be the same area that I've explored before, though I don't remember seeing one of these guys with a great sword. Let's just get behind him. their attack animations are doing it's very hard to know when they're going to stop attacking it's like even if i attack midway through his swing from like a safe position like behind him um i'll still get hit by his next swing if i'm not fast like if i'm not super on point about actually getting those attacks off really crisply um he swings real hard So blocking reduces pretty much all of our stamina. I want them souls back, so I'm going to stick with the same path. Plus, I just kind of like it. <laughs> it seems like a like a more doable path than the way with the hard discarding the, uh, the knights. Just 
backstab for bonus points. <laughs> I like... <coughs> I like zigzag through in order to avoid any blow darts that he might shoot at me. Like, commando up to him. Oh, 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 oh god. Ha! Ninja style. And then accidentally drink just there. And then, like, just swinging to hit the wall next to him. Oh, face palm. Oh, dude, that's... Okay. Alright. We're no longer beholden by those souls that we're missing. I feel like really I, I should just choose a path and try and get good at going through it. Um, based on what I'm seeing out there, it, it feels like they're of roughly the same difficulty level. Um, going straight here, like I, 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 those souls are neither here nor there at this point. It's only 2,000 that are actually on that bloodstain. Um, Hag's Guardian Knights is like really tough to deal with. Maybe I'm just not being aggressive enough, actually, though. That was like if you're best for sure. I could have gotten away from that. I just needed to not be blocking. Getting in there and killing them is a way to go. Certainly the people in the next row can be lured out one at a time. I think that's pretty essential. The guy that has the huge shield and the lance is gonna be kinda tough, but probably we can probably we can pick him apart with just circle strafing. is not going to work here. So what I don't want is I don't want the um, buff to happen. Because once the buff happens, it's like four kills to kill the hag. Or four hits to kill the hag. Which is pretty tough. Pretty tough to get. Um, at the same time, just rushing in there is almost always going to take some damage. We only need two hits before the buff. So I wonder if we can rush in, get one hit off on the hag, and then just just fish for an opportunity to finish the hag off afterwards. Or if this will work. Okay, that seems fine. Pretty dirty. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good, good. Oh, right through the head. <laughs> You've got to admire. That was, that was a well aimed, well aimed thrust. Just sprinting up and yeah, right in the head. That would be legitimately difficult to do. I don't know if you guys have done any fencing, but was like a, you know, a blade that. Weighs almost nothing. It's still hard to just like reach out and touch something in like a quick thrusting motion. Nonetheless, coming right off the screen. Like that. Got to admire. Got to admire that knight's physical prowess. Even this setup is tough. Like the next setup is definitely. Tougher, though. Nope, you don't get your buff. Okay, 
so that's... That's certainly ideal. That's, that's what we'd like to see in this fight. Ouch. We'd like to heal. We can actually guarantee the heal by just going outside the door. I don't know why I'm like pretending like I have honor about that. Ooh. Okay, so it is he's mostly up and down in his attacks. Maybe not though. When he's in that pose though, he's a lot more dangerous. That was that was a very fast attack. Caught me off guard. That's fine. We're learning how to take down a new enemy type. And they are quite formidable. Suppose we know, um We know what kind of armor they have, right? Because we have it. Right? Aren't they Lothric Knights, I'd imagine? So they've actually got very low lightning resist. If we dealt had any way of dealing lightning damage, that would be something that we could exploit. I suppose we could, like, infuse a new weapon, but I doubt that it would make good on it with, you know, how unupgraded it would be. Oh no! Get behind! I think she got off the buff though, yep. Oh. Okay. We're going the other way. This is not the way that we're going. These guys are clearly... Clearly incredibly difficult. Minimally, alright, I'll say this much. Um, when you are learning something new, which you always are with Dark Souls, um, stepping away from it and coming back after a bit is oftentimes when you'll find like, oh, that thing that was really hard is suddenly very easy. <clears throat> and the reason is that a lot of the stuff that your brain picks up on in the moment uh, isn't something that you can immediately like synthesize and apply into a new approach, but your brain will keep working on that problem when you step away. I feel like I'm more likely to get some help in terms of that type of thing going the other way. I, I have a decent feel for like what the room that I'm in is over there and what the next room is going to be. Whereas this, like I've died once to a, a dude with a greatsword and it was just like I barely know what his moves are. So let's get a little bit more experience against the dude with the greatsword. So when we step away, we can maybe learn a bit about both. Even if we don't make it past the dude here. I think that makes sense. We could also ride this all the way down to the bottom. Since we don't really know where... When we jump off in the middle, we don't know where that's going to end up leaving us. But I don't like the poisony area. It's unpleasant. <laughs> Let's go with the prettier area. Technically both the same, you know. Same title, both Consumed King's Garden. This is a prettier area of the Consumed King's Garden. Alright, we got a two-hander. Over here as well as over there. So we really need to kill the one on the left first. We can also take a look over here. Like, is this actually the area that we had been in in the past? It looks very similar. We've got that one area in the middle. I think it is, actually. I think that there was a corpse down here. And an item. And also over here. I'm not actually seeing those. Regardless, we can drop down over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely the same area. Okay, so... 
This is largely as good as it gets. It's a 1v1 against these guys. in terms of their attack animations, but they're mostly attacking forward. And they don't deal too much damage. I don't know if I'd use the term comfortable. Whelmed? I'm whelmed by those guys now. <laughs> That's what I would say. This is our shortcut back that we've already explored. Do we want to eliminate the possibility of that guy attacking us from behind? No, I think that's actually relatively minimal. Can we get a drop on this guy over here, though? The tree keeping us in his attack range as he knocked us back is really what did us in. <clears throat> we kind of know how things tie together now, though. So we don't need to necessarily take the, um, the shortcut off on the one that we've been taking. I do still want to see what happens, like where we can get to if we take the middle drop off of the elevator on the way forward near the dude that we first learned to kick his shield until he until he dies because that is a path that we have not gone these seem to be relatively convergent paths like they all kind of end up down over there pretty quickly even yep get at me Stop blocking before I just die. There we go. That'll give me time to get my stamina back. Oh, you did not block. Ah. I would like it. I'd almost say that he's lowering the physical not to block. Oh no, that didn't do like anything. Okay, he's not going to Hopefully this backs out. It still was not much damage. So I think, I think after getting hit by criticals, they always stand up blocking. Which is what makes this just the most broken way to kill an enemy. And they drop so many pieces of loot. Legitimately, like, I wonder how much we can sell those for. It should be worth at least a few souls of pop. Our soul, like, our upgrade amount is, like, huge at this point, though. It takes a lot for us to upgrade. So it might not be all that considerable relative to that price of selling those, that is. Hey, sweet. More Estus, always welcome. Ah. So this is how we get that. 
Nice. Yes, bring the chunk stream. Also, is it just me or do those guys seem to be weak against fire? Like, they scream a lot when you hit them with fireballs. That's all I'm going off of here, really. But I wonder if during that time with the fire Uchi Katana, we could, like, actually just kill them. Like, it really makes a pretty huge difference in terms of how much damage, like, how, like, you know, how you can fight against them, I guess. So, against an ordinary enemy, you can generally get up and roll away. Like, you've got enough invincibility frames. Um, if they've got a particularly long range and particularly slow attack, like a dude with a lance, for instance, uh, oftentimes they'll stand up and get hit right away. Against those guys, it's just, like, almost guaranteed because they attack in such a just outrageously huge arc. So they're pretty hard to deal with. If you get if you get stuck in like a corner against them that is. All right, what about this guy here? Boom. I mean, almost everything dies with two hits, regardless of which of my two weapons I'm using. And the greatsword attack is not slower. Very seems particularly fire weak, so I'm gonna actually stick with the fire Uchi Katana. I'm just thinking if this actually like saves me any time going this way. It almost seems like it might take slightly longer. I'm gonna get off in the middle and go fight those two-hander dudes. I think with the Uchi Katana, I'm gonna be able to find a lot more opportunities to hit them. And I think that that's going to be a difference maker for us. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, also, this motherfucker would be enchanting these guys out here if we had come the like straightforward route to get here I think that hadn't even occurred to me but probably make a huge difference Stab, we would have lost this fight. We have just all of the Titanite. At least the lower level Titanites. One more, it looks like, for now, anyhow. Hey. 
base or we our stamina. He is a relentless attacker. Go. Oh, we should have drank earlier. Let's let him get. Let, let's let him expose his back, essentially. Rotational speed. Whew. Magic stone plate ring indeed. And we got his greatsword. It's probably heavy as all hell. Probably requires infinity strength. Yeah, only 26. It's actually not too bad. Can we dual wield that? I think we can, actually. Yeah. Oh. Great swords are so fun. Does that have like a skill? That looked like a skill. That might just be a... Uh... Stomp. Use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increased poise. And follow with a strong attack for spinning slash. Ooh. That's really cool. <laughs> It's, it's quite cool. That's that's a cool that's a cool weapon for sure. All right, let's go ahead and head on through here. What was this guy guarding? Oh, good. Oh, boss. Well. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, um, tell a friend. Or tell someone on Twitter. Tell someone. Get some people watching this. See you guys next time.